up everyone welcome back to my channel and you're welcome to this video guys i hope you guys are doing great so guys it's a new week and we are here to continue our practical training so for today we'll be working with the rapid response team also called the critical care outreach team so we're working with this nurse who's been working in the emergency unit and also the anesthesiology department for over 18 years and is so great so we had two nurses they have paramedics they also have anesthesiologist who works with them the good thing about this department is that the nurses are independent they work on their own they carry out procedures on their own the anesthesiologist only like checks up on them like once in a while so we literally have like 15 minutes to get to any department whenever we have a call except in extreme cases where we have to be there like immediately right now we are working with this nurse the other nurse is already in another department also attending to them you're going to see him later in the video so one thing i noticed here is they don't have any female staff or nurse or whatever here i mean i think this department is a bit stressful because they're always on their toes what i like about this department is that like they have like a wider knowledge because they work with all the departments i mean they get calls from any of the departments in the hospital and you know we just had to like work with different people today and it was really fun but the truth is this department is not for me so please make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and give this video a thumbs up because you're going to like it already so let's go okay so guys we are done at the neurology department now we are going to the um surgery we are going to the um surgical department so basically <clears throat> this rapid response team is an extension or another department under ICU. So we are sure going. Ah, I didn't even bother to straighten this wig this morning. Okay. <laughs> Next stop, cardio surgery department. <laughs> okay, we are leaving CMI from CMI to CMA. See, this CMA, I don't like it. It's very round. Like, CMI is chilled, like, it's cool. Wait, see? Yeah, see I mean, yeah, it's like...
for suction? Mm. Not exactly no, feeling, but it. suction and to open the airway, you can do suction through it. When there is a lot of like, you know, gang and uh, saliva there, you can use it for suction, there is no problem. But you can Sandra, as a blind the patient, you... Because it would go, I would say, majority of it to airways and uh -huh. we don't want it to put That's the airway device and... Okay, and you were explaining this one. Okay. Please press, let me see the chest. Oh, it's rising. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's rising. Yes, chest is rising, so that's good. And if you want to squeeze that back. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's good. So what are you doing? This is a supraglottic hairy device. Good. And I want to try to open it in. Mm -hmm. It's an emergency situation. My patient cannot breathe, so I'm trying to mm -hmm. breathe now. So what do we do after this? We can disconnect the bag. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Who is the next person? Okay, don't force the patient that is struggling for breathing to lay down. Okay, always try to sit. Guys, we are done for today. As in, thank God for the break. We didn't even rest at all. I Anyways, no I swear. <laughs> we used even beyond the time that we we're supposed to stay. Anyways, it was cool. And I just want to send this package now. I sold Mimi's shoe <laughs> on Vinted and I want to send it through All Patch Car. So. I'm going to end the vlog here. 
make sure you subscribe give this video a thumbs up leave your comment and suggestion and i'll see you in another video Keeps me high